Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to go ahead and show you some cool little effects that we can uh, create using some of the default uh, effects uh, features that Autodesk Maya has. And I'm going to start by creating a sphere and I'm going to assign a new material and this time we don't need to use an Arnold material. This time we're just going to use a standard Lambert. And under Lambert I'm going to change my transparency to full transparency and I'm going to name it sphere transparent material. Now that being said once you deselect off of it you cannot see it at all so um, just keep that in mind that's where the outliner can really come into play. So here we're going to go and switch to our effects tab and in our effects tab we're going to go to effects and we're going to click on fire. Now you don't see anything happen yet and I'm on frame one mind you but if I play you're going to see I can see this flame um, but it doesn't look exactly like a flame yet right it looks like uh, one of the fluid emitters that we've created with the little emitter in there um, but we need an object to attach that fire to otherwise it doesn't really know where to go or how to sort of flame from here so with that being said um, how do we actually see the fire and what we'll do is we'll switch to our rendering tab and under render we're gonna go to render settings and we're gonna change it from Arnold renderer to Maya software and we're gonna go ahead and click close now from here I'm gonna click on render again and I'm just gonna do render current frame and you'll now see the flame in here so I'm going to show you in a later lab how to composite this into something you rendered out in Arnold, which will be pretty neat. So anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and let you know that the Arnold render does not render this very well. So um, keep in mind that you can still include these effects in scenes. Um, it'll just require one extra step, which um, in any animation, uh, there's always comp compositing uh, being done. So um, this is a really great way to learn it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this but you see now that we have the fire the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, let's see if I can click click on my sphere I'm not going to use this sphere because it already has all this information attached to it I'm going to start with a fresh sphere and just go ahead and drag this over and I'll call this uh, fire sphere mesh just so I know in my outliner and this one I'm gonna to need to create two so I'm gonna name this one lightning sphere mesh and I'm gonna duplicate it and this one will be lightning sphere mesh one that's totally fine for this so now that I've got these two here I'm gonna click on one I'm gonna hold shift and select the next one and then I'm gonna go on, back to my effects tab and I'm gonna go to effects and I'm gonna do lightning and you're gonna see I automatically have lightning going right so I'm gonna scrub back to my frame one and hit play and you're gonna notice that it's starting to play right I can also go ahead and readjust these so I get different sizes of lightning so the cool part about it is you could even create uh, animations with it in in combination so the next thing I'll do is I'll assign that existing transparent material uh, material the sphere transparent material and I'm going to tap G on this one for last tool used and now you'll see that they're both transparent but one of the other things I want to show you is if I go ahead and I'll just go ahead and bring this up really quickly if I go ahead and I begin to uh, on frame one I'm going to set a keyframe and then I'm going to go ahead oh, and I'll go to frame 40 and just drag this out. Now you're going to notice my lightning actually expands. So you can do some cool little tricks like that as well. So clicking play, pretty neat. So from here, I'm going to do a quick render and show you what this looks like. And I'm going to go to my rendering tab and go to render and render current frame. And you're going to see I got this really, really strong glow. I, I don't like how strong that glow is. So what I can do is I'm going to click on this little
shape there that where'd it go here it is so I'm gonna click on this shape uh, this is sort of like the the settings for the lightning this is like the actual lightning effect that you're clicking on not these little controller things and I'm gonna click on this little effect tab or, or effect uh, item here in my viewport and under glow intensity I'm gonna change this to like 0.1 and now I'm gonna do another render and render current frame and you'll see it's got a much lighter glow on it so um, you can also adjust the light intensity let's change it from one to from two to one and then let's do one more quick render render current frame and you'll see that it's starting to uh, bring down some of those attributes so I'm happy with that that's totally fine and now the last one I want to show you how to create is fireworks so if I go in here I go to Arnold and uh, or I'm sorry not Arnold. we're gonna go into effects uh, effects and uh, fireworks but oh excuse me before I do that I'm gonna drag this over uh, so I'm creating a new sphere I'm gonna assign that existing material to it the sphere transparent material and then I'm gonna go to effects and fireworks and now what I've just done is when I hit play you'll see it doesn't matter I guess on the location of the sphere when I create the sphere I believe it used to but maybe not anymore and let's see if I can drag this over and all I'm all I did was try to drag over my fireworks and let's just see what happens so now I'm gonna scrub back to frame one and click play one more time and you're gonna see some fireworks and electricity happening and I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick render and render render oh not render settings render current frame and you'll see now I've created fire I've created lightning and I've created fireworks so um, as I'd mentioned earlier I'm going to uh, show you how to composite this into other scenes that you've rendered out whether it be an Arnold scene or a Photoshop scene in a later lab um, but this is a really really cool little quick effect uh, tab that you can kinda just uh, really quickly create some special effects from anyway um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video uh, it was just like an intro to my default effects and um, yeah um, message me if you have any questions